I'm sure you will not disagree with me when I tell you that uh, phishing is the major vector for ransomware, malware, and all sort of trouble. You need to assume that people are going to click on those very cleverly engineered, socially engineered attempts to get them to click where they are not supposed to, and they're going to fall victim for it. How can we detect when that happened? Well, let's go in this uh, in stages. I have a rule here that precisely allows us uh, to actually do that. And it's as simple as, you know, putting a host definition on my proxy service. This is my exiting uh, proxy. The, the, let's say you have a blue code, you have a web sense, whatever you have going out. We collect the logs from the air. And when I have a custom URL, that, that's a custom property that we extract from those logs, that has a URL that is contained in this reference set called phishing URL, I want this offense to trigger. Well, that's actually, that's good. But the main problem is how do I get that phishing URL nicely populated? And in this particular case, we have 8,828 uh, phishing URLs. Uh, and where do we get this data? You're not going to be manually adding all these URLs. No. When from the App Exchange, do download an application called Thread Intelligence, which is a free app, you get this uh, uh, application in here that is basically an stick and taxi connection. And what we actually did is that we created uh, a connection to a Soltra server. And Soltra is uh, it's an organization that gets feed from multiple, as you have uh, from financial services, for healthcare, from multiple people that as soon as there's notification that there is a URL that has been used from fish, phishing is actually put on that server. So everybody enjoys that, that uh, threat intelligence uh, being fed. And that's how we got those uh, 8,000 uh, plus uh, phishing URLs. In fact, I wanted to show you what this uh, Soltra server looks like. It's been running for a couple of days here. And we see here, for example, in green are these uh, uh, URLs that we have been uh, collecting uh, day after day, but you can collect uh, IP addresses, uh, domains, you know, there's uh, several uh, threat intelligence sources that you can actually get uh, and have them feed, as we have shown here, automatically your uh, reference set. So in this Soltra server, when we go here into feeds, all we need to do is actually define that fish tank URL, which is precisely the source that we are using uh, to get phishing information in, in an automatic way. We don't have to worry as soon as anyone knows about these phishing URLs, you get an automatic update via the taxi interface. Now that rule fires with just one event that basically has from our proxy, which is a blue code proxy. Notice that this is that custom URL uh, uh, property that we created. And now you know that with 728 is trivial to create, you know, uh, if we don't have it out of the box, it's trivial to, call, to not only create uh, log sources, uh, DSM for, for different log sources, but it's very easy to uh, add uh, custom properties. But nevertheless, this, we got this uh, hit because this user going into the proxy went to this kupovat uh, uh, eu dot, uh, slash API redirect, and that's a phishing uh, URL that we got the feed from the fish tank going through Soltra onto us. So imagine the possibilities uh, that, that you can now have by having reference sets and reference maps that get populated automatically with these uh, threat intelligence sources.